Punch your course, Tommy. Where you at, your motivation guy? Yeah, that's right. I am back again, bro, bringing you guys another video. So the main goal of every fight that you take is to eliminate the enemy, right? And so you got to do it without taking damage from enemy shots. And I'm telling you, man, it's a hard skill to acquire. So in this video, I'm so excited. We're going to be going over the unspoken tactic that every pro player uses in Fortnite, whether they realize it or not. And this is the strategy of minimizing the amount of health they lose from a fight to another fight. And so what steps you can take to do the same thing I want to show you today. Make sure you watch this video all the way through, man. I'm telling you, you're going to absorb all the new information we give you. And then the next time you play, try to implement these new tricks into your matches and just see if you can make that improvement. All right, guys, without further ado, you guys ready for this? Let's get this going. All right, so let's be honest. How many times have you been rotating to zone and all of a sudden you get beamed with an AR from somewhere that you simply couldn't predict? You know, for most of us, like that number is probably somewhere in the hundreds, maybe even thousands, if we could be honest, depending on how long you've been playing. And so the truth is, taking damage before the build fight actually starts is a lot more avoidable than you actually think. And all this takes is for us to be more aware in our games. And so one way to be more aware in your games is to simply look around your surroundings a lot when moving. All right, so constantly look around to see what's going on around you. And so one of the best ways to win fights in general is to land the first hit. If you can spot them before they can spot you, you already have the first shot advantage. So make sure that you're looking in the correct places where you can actually predict the enemies are coming from. Use zones and where the POIs are around you to help. You know, one mistake I see a lot of players make is having 90% of their screen being taken up by something completely irrelevant. You know, when there's natural cover protecting you from somewhere, you think the enemies might be boxed up. There's no need for you to constantly be just checking out that area. And if you do this a lot, you're just wasting time. And in Fortnite, what separates the good from the best is how exactly you spend every valuable second of your time. So yeah, like doing this is definitely going to play a big factor in avoiding taking damage during your fights. This is such a minimum adjustment in your gameplay, but it will definitely make like a serious impact, you know, and a huge difference in the long term. So getting on top of it as early as you can is definitely key. All right. So if you're looking to get better at Fortnite, like your favorite pros, our top coaches on Pro Guides are ready to help you one on one get better at game sense, mechanics, vibe reviewing, and everything that you want to learn at your own pace and level. So head on over to ProGuides.com right now to get started and use code RANKUP2021 to get 20% off. All right, so now that you've mastered how to stop taking the first hit in game, now how about when you're in the middle of a box fight against an opponent? So what are the best strategies to lessen or stop taking damage then? So one way that we have for you is really to stop editing pieces that put you in a vulnerable position. So if an enemy looks like they're waiting for you to make an edit, your best bet is usually not to make a move that shows any part of your body. And so if you do, you're probably gonna take a big shotgun blast to the face. Instead, try them out by just going somewhere they wouldn't expect you to go, and then just try taking a shot at them, or even just make a top right triangle edit and jump shot them. You know, peanut butter edits are great for taking shots because it barely exposes your body and makes it extremely hard for enemies to get a shot on you when perfected. So making sure you practice your peanut butter edits a lot so you can perfect them is always really going to be good for you hitting shots. So the key point here, man, is that if you want to take less damage, you need to stop getting shot at. And if you want to do that, you need to constantly be staying protected by your builds. Taking 50-50s by using Mongo Classics are slowly just kind of going out of fashion as the Fortnite meta evolves. So smarter plays are definitely the way forward. Another way to effectively minimize taking damage in your arena matches is to always have a right hand peek. And so what we mean by this is to always try to have your enemies to the right of your screen when fighting so that when behind cover, you have a wider field of view to your advantage. And this is because the crosshair is always to the right of our characters when we play Fortnite. Unfortunately, we can't change the setting. It's just how it is. So, you know, if you were to peek on the left, you would expose your entire body fully before you can shoot. However, if you were to right hand peek your body, it would barely be exposed if you master it right. So, you know, there are tons of creative courses out there which you can use to master your peak shots. And you should definitely freshen those skills up, you know, so you can get the chance and just, you know, get your mechanics to the next level. And I'm telling you, you're going to take less damage than a lot of your fighting scenarios. Every single day, pro players seem to make, you know, dodging enemy shots look like something out of a movie. Yet they do it like it's second nature. And that's probably because in-game movement is usually something that naturally develops over a long period of time. And gradually just getting better and better. And lots of pros have been playing since the game first began, right? But that doesn't mean that there aren't steps that we can take to quickly improve our movement skills to take less damage now. 
For one, having your keybinds conveniently set so that you can move freely while performing certain actions is certainly like one of the most efficient ways to improve your movement. You should definitely be able to move in all directions easily while building and being able to crouch comfortably while shooting will also help you a lot. Secondly, double movement. So double movement is not a trend, and with most pro players having already switched, it looks like it's here to stay. Of course, most of you guys already know what double movement is, but just in case there's some of you that don't, all right. It's a way to make your character straight further from left to right than you usually would, and you enable this feature using an external PC application that comes separate to Fortnite, or simply by using a controller. The ability to straight further to the left and to the right will allow you to maneuver through builds and dodge enemy shotgun shots more freely, meaning that you can take less damage during fire. It also means you can also peace control opponents a lot quicker and easier, even upping your productivity overall. Again, there are tons of creative courses out there which you can actually use to master your movement skills like Raider 464 Aim Duel, I always say that on my Instagram all the time at Your Motivation Guy, where you can literally practice dodging a real person's bullets. So acquiring better movement takes a while since it's so fixed into your muscle memory. So don't worry if you don't see any instant improvements and don't just try to rush it. The best players always play out their games in a patient and smarter manner. So it just makes sense that you should do the same thing. Think about it, man. Like the only reason an enemy can easily get a shot on you is if they know exactly where you are. So what can you do to stop them from knowing your location? Play silently. So imagine a scenario where you just boxed up and healed to full health and you see an enemy coming your way. A new strategy that players like Martos are doing is simply just wait outside of the box instead of inside. So when the enemy comes and tries to pickaxe the wall, you just peek around the corner and get an easy shot on them. This is a perfect example of playing silently. Since they didn't actually hear where you were, they just assumed that it was inside of the box that was built recently. This way, you can get a shot off on them and build without them even getting a chance to shoot back. Thus, like I just said, minimizing damage during arena matches even more. However, okay, I will say this. You know, this strategy of playing silently works in many, many more scenarios from early game to even late game. So you'd be surprised how many players rely on sound and how much crouch walking and not moving can really change the way players act. Knowing when to shoot an AR is an entire skill itself, since shooting in the wrong place at the wrong time can result in you getting beamed by half the lobby. You know, the worst time to take shots is when everybody is still boxed up. Like, you've got to wait until players start rotating and trying to stay their mats. But to do that, you've got to be in a good position, guys, where you don't have to rotate either. So make sure that you get yourself in a good spot in the zone first. And so as a rule of thumb for you, you should never spray without giving yourself a moderate amount of cover. Since spraying an AR makes you a super easy target for headshot snipers all around the map. So always stay on top, you know, just for the lookout for anybody planning on spraying your back and never spray for longer than five to 10 seconds at a time. So if you take these steps, like you should hopefully find that you're not taking as many hits your way when spraying with an AR and taking less damage will also come naturally. All right, bunch of crest on me. It's time for a recap on how to minimize taking damage during your arena matches. Who's ready? Here we go. In order to minimize damage, you've got to make sure that you're the one who's taking the first shot of the fight. First shot advantage is so real, guys. So being constantly aware of your surroundings and knowing where people are coming from, it's just the key to victory. 50-50s are a never... <laughs> They're, they're a big no, man. Like, they're, they're just not the way to consistently win. They always lead to you taking some damage, and, and even if your enemy is one shot, a peanut butter edit instead of a four corner edit will ensure that you don't eat any bullets. All right, always ensure a right hand peek. If you can keep this up, your enemy will never be able to easily hit a shot on you since you're always gonna see it coming first. All right, so when in doubt, go back to the basics and get your movement in tip top condition. You know, good movement and the ability to seamlessly move through shots is a necessary skill to acquire if you wanna go pro. Play patient. Remember, play patient and play smart. You don't always have to W key in order to win. High IQ plays usually win against pure speed. Remember that. And lastly, knowing when and when not to take an AR shot could really save you from getting your head swiped off by a sniper bullet. So make sure you get this right. Watch your course, saw me. That's gonna be it for today's video. Okay, so let me know if you guys have any more tips for minimizing damage in the comments. And just tell me what you guys want to see next. If you guys like the video, you already know what to do. Subscribe to the channel and connect to me on my Instagram. What is it? Your motivation guy. Man, I want to hear how you guys are doing, man. Listen, I am your number one fan. I'm rooting for you. I know there's so much adversity and things that we go through in life, but I'm telling you, you have a friend in me, Keith Allen, that, that really wants to see you guys thrive and be successful, not only in this game, but also in life. I genuinely mean that. I really, really do. I'm really, really rooting for you guys. I promise you, I am. Keep going. Never give up. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.